Okay, today we're going to learn how to make GIFs using images and videos. First, we're going to learn how to make a GIF using images. I have selected images before I'm showing this presentation that I just saved in my pictures folder. So I'm going to go to Uploaded Images, and you can see that I already have these selected right here in my pictures folder. So I'm going to go and select them all. Control all. Oop. Control all. I'm going to open them all up in here. As you can see, they're all flowing through pretty slowly. So down here you see the auto arrange. So I can arrange them since their release date, which I'm going to do right now. All right, and then you can see I have this extra one. I don't know why that's there. Um, you can drag images down here to drag images to remove. And I have all the images I want. So up here you can work with the timing. So if you're farther over here, the quicker it goes, which is cool. And then if you farther you go to the right, the slower it goes. And then down here you also see the quality. And one is the best. So you can see the quality improved as I moved it to the left. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know for making a GIF. You can adjust the width, the height, and you can add text, you can crop GIF, but our main objective is just to learn how to create them. So then when you're ready and you're content with your GIF that you made using images, you can go to Generate GIF, and it'll say Computing, <clears throat> and then you can go to Download Image if you're pleased with the GIF you created, and if not, you can always go back to Change Settings. So, that is how you generate a GIF using images. So now we'll talk about how to generate a GIF using a video. So you can see that there's this tab for URL. I already selected a YouTube video that I thought was very appropriate to make a GIF, so I'm going to copy this URL of this YouTube video, go in here and paste it, and then you can see it's going to show you the video. This is a very short video, so the span, this span that you're going to use while making the video is going to be longer than if the video was, let's say, like five minutes. It'll be shorter. So I think I'm going to move this up a little bit, make this, I don't want it to be too long. I think that's going to be good. So I'm going to go to preview, and you can see what your GIF will look like. Okay, I think you want it to be a little shorter than that. Okay, perfect. So you can see I adjusted the video that you will show in your GIF by moving these two arrows. Green indicating the beginning and red indicating the end. So you can go over here and you can see how long it is, you can see the width, you can crop the GIF, you can do whatever you want with it, but just the objective is to create GIFs using videos. So then you can go in here and you can give a title to it, so Spongebob GIF. Okay, and then you can go and you can press generate GIF like we did for the image, it's pretty simple. And you can download that if you're content with the GIF you created, which I am, I like it. Okay, And it'll show up down here and you can open up and save it as an image. And then if you ever want to make edits or anything, you can press the change settings button and you, it'll take you back to the home screen. So that is how you create GIFs using images and videos.